everybody it is Margaret Texas Gal Treasures and today I'm bringing you a video all about high-end costume jewelry brands that need to be on your radar so this video is a combination well what spurred this video on was the other day I did a jewelry jar unboxing and if you're new here what that means is I buy a jar full of jewelry from Goodwill or Salvation Army or it could be a grab bag of jewelry and I unbox it on on camera but frequently you'll find really interesting pieces in the jar and this past week's jar was no different there were a few costume jewelry brands that I found in the jar that I hadn't heard of before and when I looked them up they were something that I realized I needed to have on my radar. So I'm going to share with you 10 high-end costume jewelry brands that we should be looking for. And I've already got a part two in the works because as I was doing the research, I, I kept coming up with more and more really cool costume jewelry designers that some I have found, some I have not found, but definitely that I want to keep on my radar. So if you're watching this later, leave a comment down below letting me know some costume jewelry designer that you think should make the video for 10 more. And who knows, after that we may do 10 more because goodness knows there's, there's lots out there. Okay, so I am live. So I want to say hello to everybody in the chat. I'm going to pop the chat up real quick and then we will get uh, get on this. So I've got my friend Henry there. Hi, Linda and Lydia's there. Hello, Oltenu and Kara, Ismail. Hello, Pooj. And hello, Ida. Thanks so much for coming, you guys. So let me drop this back down again. So basically three of the designers that I found in this last jewelry jar one were these I got these earrings in the jar and these are a brand called Reeve or Revy I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right this one is not in this only one of the three it made it to this uh, jewelry video so there's that one another one that I found in the jar were these earrings and these were um, Anne Dell I can barely read it because my eyes are getting older oh you can't see it either but anyway those ones didn't make it to this one as, as well either but this one did this is Ann Dick and I, it was I never even heard of it <clears throat> or her and let's see if we can get that going so you can see that and I do have screenshots of things I'm going to show you but I just wanted to show you where I'm trying to get it right in that camera so you can see you can kind of see it so where um, where the idea for this video came from so one thing even if you don't know what does a designer is, if you pull it out, let's say I found this in Andic, I've never heard of her before, something to do when you're looking at high um, costume jewelry to figure out if it's high end or not high end is to one, take a look at the closure, see how it's put together. So these are, this necklace was put together with these really interesting hooks. It's not your usual just little jump rings and things. So, so looking at the way it's constructed can kind of give you a, an idea as to whether or not it's a better quality. <clears throat> so uh, with, without further ado, let me go ahead and start sharing this. It, again, if you're new here, go down there and hit that subscribe button and the bell if you're interested in catching more of my videos live. I make videos all about making and saving money, whether it's through selling jewelry online or through other means like merch by Amazon. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to do this. Let's see if I can get it done just right. So I have it in order. Look how fancy I got. Okay, the first one that we're going to talk about is David Anderson. Now, some of these you might say, Margaret, I don't consider that a, <clears throat> a costume jewelry brand. I consider that a fine jewelry brand. Well, I thought I'm going to go ahead and put them on here because... It might be something you find in a jar. I have found a David Anderson in a, in a jewelry jar. So, hang on, this is a little bit out of whack, so I need to get this fixed real quick. Okay, let me scoochie it a little bit right there. Okay, um, and I had somebody ask me about my cold in the chat. I still have it, so I'm going to try to mute if I have to cough. What I mean. Okay, so um, I do have more friends live. Hello, hello, everybody, for jumping in. Thank you. So David Anderson is, is not exactly a costume jewelry designer, but he's definitely one that you can find out and about. He, his marks, um, let's see, so he's in a Norway, Norway, he's Norwegian, so he's more of that Scandinavian type jewelry. Um, some of the marks are here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what the marks look like 
tell you the name of the designer and show you some of the pieces so you kind of have an idea of the style of the designer and um, while you're out there looking. So David Anderson, this is on a 925-1000.com. Um, so some of them are just like an S925 and then this, this like scale looking thing. There are a few that say David Anderson. So depending on how long the company has been around, they might have multiple marks. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So David Anderson, oh my goodness, here we go. All right, so some of the pieces by David Anderson, these are some sold on eBay. Um, these are, they look like just little leaf earrings on, on those ones. But here, look, this these are like purple lily pads. These sell for $400. So that's pretty cool. So it might be something a little unusual, might be something a little different, you know, something that in my mind when I'm, I'm thinking, okay, Goodwill, employee is throwing stuff into a jar this might not be something that they look at and think wow this is going to be worth 400 bucks this weird lily pad throw it in a jar right um same thing with like little enamel butterflies yeah that one's 25 bucks but there are quite a few i mean take a look at this one i mean it's this big bronze pendant brooch that sold for 120 bucks I'm guessing that that might not be on someone's radar to, to think this is a high-end piece of jewelry, you know what I mean? And I find that to be true with a lot of these that they kind of maybe look gaudy or they look a little different. So um, anyway, so that's David Anderson. We want to keep our eyes out for him. I'm going to close these tabs out because my computer is chugging. It's, it's working real hard. It's trying to keep up with all my tabs. Okay, so between each each designer, I have my jewelry group plug here. This is just a placeholder to remind me to pop my other chat, I mean my my other screen up so I know. Okay, so next up, we're going to talk about Hattie Carnegie. Hattie Carnegie <clears throat> is another designer that we should be keeping our eyes out for. So let's take a look at who Hattie, Hattie Carnegie is and um, what we can be looking for. Oh, look. Here we go. No, I'm out of order. <laughs> and Dick is the next one. I thought I had these in order. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> That's fine. You know, we're all human. Here it is. There we go. And Dick. Now, and Dick is the one I just showed you, the one that I found in this jar. And I did get an offer. And normally when people, people send me offers for jewelry from my jars, I make a really good you know, I make a good deal with you. Um, but but this is one that if slash when I sell it, it I'm going to list it probably for $95. So I, you know, I was like, yeah, okay, I can work a deal, but I can't work that big of a deal because it's really a nice piece. So um, this is a website, Scandinavia, Scandin Scandinavia Modern, about early Ann Dick pieces. And basically Ann Dick has, you know, got a lot of metal worked, type bronze jewelry. Pardon me, but <laughs> I got to cough again. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jane. <laughs> yeah, so, so this is when I, one of the thir first things I pulled up when I just typed in and Dick necklace. So these are things that are for sale. You know, modernist was a, a term I saw a lot for her, um, but it's these metal pieces that go for really good money. So, <clears throat> so obviously this was not on the radar of the, the employee at the Goodwill this day. Um, so let's take a look at what the maker's mark looks like. And again, these are some more pieces, just so you have an idea of what to look for while you're out there. So you're looking for maybe modern looking pieces. It looks like here she's got those same bits that are like connecting pieces like so. It looks like she uses the same style, maybe not on all of them, but I see it frequently here and here and here. So that's something to keep an eye out for. Again, this brutalist, minimalist, and dick, it, it looks like a hunk of metal on some of them, but they are selling for really, really good money. So those are some of the designs to keep an eye out for. So some are unusual, some are, are simple. And then here is the maker's mark on this one. It just has her name and Dick, like so, on the tag. And you can see, I mean, this is kind of a cool necklace, honestly. Let's see if I can get it back up. If I can get it where you can see it. I'm zooming in there. Isn't that cool? So cool. Okay, so that one's sold, though. 
pardon me. So here was another one. This is another one that also sold, but I just wanted you to get an idea of what to look for. Again, she's using those same connector type pieces. And then the maker's mark again is, is the name on the tag there. You can see kind of. Okay. Hey, hey, Sherry. Sorry if I'm not jumping in the chat as much as I ought to be uh, because my mom's on her way, honestly. She's like, you want to go for lunch? I said, I do, but I've already, I've already got plans with you. <laughs> so, all right. So this is again, my, just my reminder to pull my names up and then let me make sure I get the right one on. Um, okay, here we go. Back to Hattie Carnegie. I just had them a little bit out of order. So here we go. Hattie Carnegie is next. Now with a name like Carnegie, it's got to be good, right? <laughs> what is that from? Pardon me again. So yeah, um, Hattie Carnegie was a designer, not only of jewelry, but also of vintage clothing. So um, you could find Hattie Carnegie on clothes, furs, things like that, but also on jewelries. So let's take a peek at what we're looking at. So these are some Hattie Carnegie pieces. And again, I was looking for things that might just be overlooked in, uh oh, I clicked the wrong, there we go. I clicked away by accident, hang on. Um, might be overlooked and may not be on the radar of an employee at a Goodwill or if somebody's throwing a garage sale and just grabbed up all of grandma's stuff, you know, unfortunately it happens, you know, or at the estate sale, nobody can know everything, right? So, but I mean, I figure if you see the name Carnegie, you might have a winner, but take a look just at, at the style. Uh, it's kind of all over the place. It's more like, this is more like a haute couture type type deal and even they'll, they've even used it in the title there hope sure so some I mean like this piece right here even though it says like poured glass bib necklace I've seen necklaces that are similar I mean not at all in quality but you know what I mean like but they're plastic but they've got those bubbles and they you know maybe if you were not a discerning jewelry person you might not you know here's just a beaded type necklace right so some of these might just fly right under the radar of an employee at a, a thrift store or at a garage sale. So let's see if we can find out. Okay, so here are some of the marks. So it looks like a little tag, but a metal tag that's been placed on with a Hattie Carnegie with a name on there. Now again, some of them have different marks. I can't remember if this is the one. There might be, I'm going to close out of some of my tabs so I can find better. Um, I think she had one that was also just HC. So let me pull up some more of my tabs to show you. I mean, but just look at some of these. They're so cool. I mean, now this one, they may not all go for hundreds of dollars. Oh, see, here's a fur. Here we go. But some of them are so unusual. Just these enamel birds. There's just a lion, you know. Oh, there was a geisha on here that was so cool. I was going to show you. Where did it go? Is it on this page? It was super pretty. Look at her. Oh, here she is. Look, isn't that gorgeous? I think that's beautiful. Look at this big giant. It's like a dragon head. It took me a minute like to look at it and figure out what it was. Yeah, it's a big dragon head. $595 is what that one's going for. Okay, but let's take a peek again. Um, this one, I couldn't find the marking on it. So I'm wondering if this is one of the ones that has the HC. So let me flip through. Hang on, let me close these out because I have so many tabs open. It's going to make it harder for me to click around. Okay, so here you see the little, the little tag that's on there. Oh, you have some? Oh, cool, cool, cool. All right, so then let's see if we see. I had these pages all loaded up. Again, just the little metal tag that's been affixed. Now, in a minute, hang on, one thing at a time. Was this one of the ones? I was looking. Uh, there were some that I just couldn't find the mark on it. So I'm guessing it must have been there, but I, I couldn't get a good picture. That's definitely something that if you're taking pictures of jewelry, to get a good clear mark if it is signed. Get a good mark or uh, picture of that to have on your listing. Oh, here's one. Okay, okay. So here's one that's marked HC. I knew there was one. But look, breathtaking early Hattie Carnegie glass festoon necklace. And you know, I think I was talking about it the other day. There were some earrings that I was showing that was like really had all these bright stones just like this. And I was like, there's some designer. I can't think of the name. Who was it? Well, here we go. This is what I was talking about. They reminded me of this. Now I need to go double check them and see if they have an HC on them. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? 
Um, okay, so am I ready for my next one? No, I still have some more Hattie Carnegie. Okay, again, there's the tag. Maybe I went overkill showing you the tags, but all right, next jewelry designer. Again, I have my jewelry group page here. I do have a jewelry group, by the way, hint, hint. <laughs> it's on Facebook, but if you want to join it, <clears throat> there's a link down below. And let me go find the, okay, next name up after Hattie, Hattie Carnegie is Panino. All right, and again, if I mispronounce some of these names, y'all take it easy. Oops, I clicked the wrong way. Hang on. I clicked the wrong one. There we go. Here it is. <coughs> okay. Panino. And again, I you know, I, I'm a Texan. If I if I say it wrong, that's just that's just lie. Okay, so this was a really interesting one. Um I I have not found this one before, but the story when I was reading, this is Illusions Jewels, Panino Jewelry. They have a really cool article, a, a write-up about the family. It's about these three brothers and I mean, it was just really an interesting read through about the guys that were creating this, you know, jewelry company. Pretty cool. I mean, just look at that gorgeous piece, right? Now, and again, some of these are just so maybe over the top or maybe God, what you might consider gaudy that, that it might just get thrown in. Now, this Illusions Jewels, I think this is the one that had the all the marks. Let me scroll down a little more. No. Hang on, there was one that I was looking at that had a few different marks, and it was this one, I thought. Hang on. I've got all my tabs open. Is it on that page I already closed out? Hmm. Okay, we'll get to it. It's here somewhere. I didn't close anything out that we haven't already looked at. Okay, so here we go. This is what some of the jewelry looks like by Panino, and some of the prices that, that people are asking for it. So, hi again in the chat. Hello, hello. Sorry if I miss saying hello to you. But I'm just thinking if, you know, this, I've seen jewelry that is like this, like a bow, you know, with, like that, you know, just thrown into a jar, or maybe for sale in the case. So it's something to, to look at, you know, you might, it might be overlooked by somebody else that looks like a big thistle, maybe, you know. I mean, it's gorgeous when you see how it's put together. But I'm looking at this like vintage Panino brooch that's going for 170 bucks. I mean, it, I again, I can keep saying it's it, things that are flying under the radar. <laughs> All right, so I know I have a page where it's got markings on it. So here, this one says Panino Sterling, which is cool. Obviously, if you see Sterling on there, it's something to definitely take a peek at. Um, this one is going for 316. Um, is what they're asking for it. This is what the piece looked like here. And then, oh, ha, huh, okay. So Panino, this is the Illusions Jewels. This is a site that has a lot of different maker's marks on it, so it's a good reference. So again, it'll say the name Panino or Panino Sterling, like so. And a lot of times these sites will date it, like this is the mark from these, between these dates, and this is the mark for the, these this time period. All right, let me close out of these that we've done. And then we'll jump on to the, I think I'm ready for the next one. Oh, oh, I was showing you another pair. This is a pair of earrings, Panino on the clip for the earring. And okay, we're ready for the next one. Let me pop up the name, bum, bum, bum. So after Panino, we are looking at, now this is one you may have heard of, Miriam Haskell. So Miriam Haskell is another really good costume jewelry designer that you should have on your radar. And the unfortunate thing is that some Miriam Haskell is not signed. This is a website called verývintage.com and it gives a big write-up story about, you know, the history of the company and different recaps. So before 1947 or 48, it just had like a, a hang tag, uh, like a paper tag instead of a mark on the jewelry. And then after that, uh, 48 to the 70s, there was a horseshoe, horseshoe shape and then a reverse signature on an oval tag. And then 1979 to now, a flat back oval tag. So let's take a look at what the jewelry looks like and what the marks look like for Miriam Haskell as well. So this is a website right now, miriamhaskell.com. So this is current day stuff like some barrettes and things like that and then here 
you can kind of see on the I have it pulled up in a second. I think I have it pulled up next. Let's see if I have that. Maybe I don't. Let me pop it open again. Where you can see the signature on the back. It's that same sort of tag, but it's like a metal tag that's affixed to the piece. And it says Miriam Haskell. Easy peasy, right? Or here on the back of the clip, just written across Miriam Haskell. That makes it a nice makes makes life a lot easier when it doesn't have like a, a symbol that I always forget on some of them. Okay, so here, let's take a look at what some of them look like. Now, again, some of these costume jewelry designers have real jewelry as well. So you might find something that is sterling or something that has pearls as well. I'm going to cough one more time. Sorry. Okay, so I'm, I'm seeing a lot of pearls. I'm seeing a lot of just really lush looking pieces from Miriam Haskell. I mean, look at that. That's gorgeous with the green. And then let's peek over. Okay, so this is the spruce. Who doesn't love the spruce website? I'm just loving it. <laughs> this is another uh, mark from Miriam Haskell again. And is there anything else on here? Oh, oh, I kept this also because you can see here the little tag that's on. I can't find a way to zoom it in. But on this card, you can see where it says Miriam Haskell where the it's on the card. Okay. Let me close out of these so we can jump on to the next one. I think that was it for Miriam Haskell. And if you guys have questions in the chat, I'm happy to ask them or answer them if I can. All right, there we go. Okay, so who do we have next? Let's see. I put this in here because I have all my tabs together. No, it's not Antic. That's not right. <laughs> so next up is... Robert Sorrell or Sorrell again if I mispronounce it <laughs> you have some Haskell too very nice cool cool I am almost why are you moving okay hang on there okay I have to select it to have it happen there we go okay so Sorrell so Robert Sorrell I mean has got some really big gorgeous pieces but this is what I'm talking about I mean look at this piece and I know I've I've come across some pieces that are like they don't look as nice as this, but like plastic ones that are trying to reproduce or re replicate this style, you know, and that might throw people that are selling jewelry, you know, at a thrift store, it might throw them off and they might not recognize what it is. Okay, so... <laughs> You could do a video on your research sites that you know, right, right? A lot of times it's Googling too, though. <laughs> Googling and finding. <laughs> okay, so so take a look at some of these sorrel pieces. And a lot of them are just like these rhinestone, blingy, gaudy. I thought I had a page pulled up where it almost looked like, almost like drag queen with the big, big gaudy jewelry. You know what I mean? Is what it looked like. And okay, so but but here, yeah, I mean $975. Okay, let's see. I know I've got some more here. Okay, so here's the tag. <clears throat> and it says sorrel. Hang on, let me see if I can zoom it in again. Um I can't read what the rest of that tag says. Hey yeah, how's it going? All right, so again, here's another one. It's got one of those like pressed on tags, it says sorrel. And I'm trying to think if there was another, let me see if I can zoom in on that because I can't remember what it says underneath. I, I really can't read it. <laughs> I can't read it. Okay, <clears throat> so again, here are some more pieces that are just really, I mean, they're big, they're bold. Again, in some cases you might consider them gaudy, but this can be worth some, some pretty nice profits if you're out there looking. Okay, let me close out of some of these because I think we're just about ready for our next designer. Do, 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 do. Closing. Oh, this is some more of the Robert Sorrell. Beautiful. I mean, just big, beautiful designs. Hello, hello from Florida. How are you? Okay, so next up is, ah, oh, hang on. I have, I'm trying to do this as best I can. So the next designer that we're going to be looking at is another one that you may have heard of. If I can find it, where'd it go? There. <clears throat> Kramer 
and I'm going to say this wrong, Perur, Perur? <laughs> anyway, okay, you get the idea. Okay, let's pop it back down, and oh, apologies again, y'all. Okay, so um, we'll just call it Kramer. How about that? So vintage Kramer jewelry, you know, founded in New York City, high to World War II. Lot, again, lots of really big, blingy, rhinestone type, again, like gaudy type jewelry. This one, however, Christian Dior, Dior worked with. And so you might even find some that says Christian Dior by Kramer or Dior by Kramer, that kind of thing. Kramer for Dior. And, okay, use use fake gems and Swarovski crystals. Swarovski. I can never say the name right, can I? Okay, so take a look. Kramer Perur. I'm sure somebody will tell me I phonetically how to say that. But, I mean, when I look at this, I think of my great-grandmother. She loved these big, I keep saying gaudy, but to me it's like these big, blingy, rhinestone-y, showy-looking pieces and she, I mean, I have a box full of her stuff back here that I just haven't gone through. Not just my grandmother's, but my great grandmother's. She loved stuff like this, these big flowers and rhinestones and things like that. So that's this. Now I thought I had some pulled up with pricing, like what kind of prices people were asking. Did I not? Hmm. Aha, here we go. I thought I did. Peru. Oh, Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. So um, some of these are maybe not like in the hundreds. Some are, but it's still a pretty good price that you can ask for some of these. Like here, this one's 28 bucks. But this one over here, well, it says Juliana Kramer on question mark. Okay, never mind. We'll skip that one. But some of them can go for a higher value. Anyway, so there we go on that one. All right, let me close out of some of these and we'll jump on to the next one. Thank you for letting me know about the pronunciation. So, okay, we looked at that one. We did that one already. And what have we here? Oh, this was just showing this, the name. So it just got the name Kramer on the back. Did I not say that? I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so again, the marking will say Kramer on the back. And again, there's one that says Kramer. See, this one is selling for 195. What does it look like? So this is the piece. So it's got those blue peacock colors. Very pretty. Okay, let's see who is next on our 10 designers that we need to have on our radar. Next up, we have, let me find my, my slide for it because I have them out of order apparently, even though I did the work for it. Nina Ricci. Okay, so Nina Ricci. Let's take a look at you. So Nina Ricci, um, first of all, could a lot of her stuff I'm, I'm seeing has her name on it or has an NR for her initials, Nina Ricci. <clears throat> is Peru a set of jewelry? I, there is a word for that. Maybe that's what that is. Pardon me. Okay, so here are some of the I mean, with the Nina Ricci stuff, I'm noticing a few different styles. I mean, it's not just one where some of them are, are really intricate or really gaudy. Some of, you know, hers are a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So, and it looks like she's done some stuff for Avon as well, which I'm learning can, can actually fetch some good prices sometimes. Okay, so let's take a peek at some of the other pieces and these signatures. <clears throat> so here you can see it's, you know, you can barely see it. Let me zoom it in if you, if I can, where it says Nina Ricci right here. And this piece looks like this. And this one's Nina Ricci Paris, apparently, and it is being sold for 863. Oh, that's the set Peru. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, there's only so many words apparently I can keep in my brain. I always forget what that and I know there's a word for that when you have the set for all the pieces. Thank you. Okay, so again, Nina Ricci on the back of these earrings. These are being sold for 20 bucks. And then, let's see. And then this is just a shell necklace. So yeah, this, this one is maybe not selling all the time for 
these high prices, but she's got some pieces that do sell for higher, higher prices. Okay, so next, wait, do I have one more? Oh, these are just some more pieces that you can take a peek at. So I, I've seen earrings that look almost like this. So I need to go look through my stuff because these look really familiar, these gold, gold tone swirls. So yeah, there's that with just some of her pieces on there. Okay, let me pull up the next one. Do, 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 do. Apparently that's my music for it. Do, do, do. The next one we're gonna take a look at is Stanley Hagler, New York City, NYC. So let's take a peek at this one. <clears throat> All right, so I pulled up this site. Let me try to slide it open a little more for you so you can see it a little better. There we go. Okay, so take a look at some of these Stanley Hagler costume pieces. Again, really rhinestone-y, blingy pieces. And the, the tag, again, is that pressed on like metal tag that has the name on it, Stanley Hagler, Stanley Hagler NYC. So there's a few different ones. Now, I guess he works in conjunction with some other companies sometimes or designers. So sometimes you'll see two tags that'll say, you know, Ian, I can't read, St. Geiler, you know, and then they'll have, it'll have both tags on there. So that is good to know. Sometimes he works with other designers. And this site is costumejewelrycollectors.com. Okay. And then some of the other pieces that <clears throat> we've seen, I've seen out there. I mean, come on. Look at this brooch. It's selling for $199. But if you were a, a guy, like some kid working at the Goodwill and you saw this brooch and you thinking, oh yeah, there's 200 bucks. Probably not. You're probably thinking this is some rhinestone piece of junk. Let me throw it in the jar, you know? So again, here's another one that bib style necklace that's pretty popular right now but that one's selling for 450 and then I mean look at this brooch this is kind of fun though but definitely <coughs> pardon me again um definitely something to keep your eyes out for I mean look at this one it looks I'm sure in person it's gonna look like not my son made it out of buttons but it's, you know, it's, it, yeah. <laughs> so keep your eyes out for it. I mean, look at this. $239 is what this one is selling for. So Stanley Hagler, you're on my radar. <laughs> okay, so here's some more. I just did a Google image search to kind of get an idea of some other pieces you might be looking for by Stanley Hagler. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay alrighty and then here again are some more definitely some really high prices being asked and some really unusual pieces okay and now let's see I think we've got one or two more two more or one more I should have been saying number nine okay this must be our last one okay hang on let's pull up the last one for you it is, hang on, DeMario NYC. Now, this is one I have never, never found before, but I'm going to show you guys what it looks like and what the signature looks like and what kind of prices it, it commands. So, DeMario in New York looks like this. Again, these lots of rhinestones. This is one of the marks, DeMario NY. But there is another one. I know I saw a different mark for this as well. Even though the prices are what they're listed for, you have to have a buyer. Oh, well, this is true. This is true. Uh, but fortunately, with jewelry, it's small. And if you get it for the right price, it doesn't hurt to wait. You know, list it and forget it. All right. So these are some more pieces of DeMario. This is on Etsy. I love selling jewelry on Etsy. Again, when you're trying to sell things, um, I, I cross post most of my stuff on Etsy and eBay, but I put a high price on it because Etsy buyers tend to not be afraid of the high price and on eBay, you can have best offers. So definitely cool. So these are some of the 
pieces. I mean, they look like, you know, just blue faceted beads, but this is selling for, it's listed for $156. So now let's see, because I know there was a different mark than what I showed you on that one. So again, pearly looking, pearly, rhinestone-y, blingy. Okay, there's that DeMario New York. Maybe it's my imagination. I could have sworn there was another mark I was gonna show you. Hang on. There's the DeMario New York again. And it's kind of got those Aurora Borealis type beads too. That's pretty cool. Maybe that was it. Maybe, oh wait, wait, wait. Hang on, where did I go? Of course I clicked away from it. Where did you go? Oh wait, there it is. There we go. There we go. Robert DeMario NYC. Oh, I knew there was another tag. Thank you. Okay, there it is. Okay, so those, let me switch back over. Those are 10 high-end costume jewelry designers that you need to have on your radar. So when you're out and about looking and you see this weird or funky, blingy costume jewelry piece sitting in the display case, take a look, have the have the worker there, pull it out, flip it over, look at the back, see if you see a mark. If you see something that is signed, it might be worth looking up. If you see something that says Paris or Italy, it also might be worth looking up. Um, but those are 10, and I already have my next 10 lined up for 10 more high-end costume jewelry designers to keep your eyes out for, to have them on your radar. So when you're looking, you can have them just in the back of your mind so you can pick them up. All right, so thanks so much, you guys, for, for watching and being here live. Again, if you are new, my name is Margaret. I'd love to have you subscribe. And if you'd like to catch me live, hit the bell next to the subscribe button so that you can catch me when I am live. And, yeah, find me on Facebook, Texas Gal Treasures, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.